welcome to Gamesville. I'm Jamie Atiko, and this is Darren Malcolm. And this is the show that puts gaming above anything else in the world. Forget your ancient history, forget your politics, because we're all about the right here, right now. That's why we're bringing you the best games in the world. And I'll tell you what, we are going courtside in today's face-off, but not for some basketball action. we got Virtua Tennis 2 on the PS2. And we turn the clock right back to 1986 as we take a look at that retro classic, Rolling Thunder. Yeah. And Jay, I've got to tell you, mate, why are you still on the chair? The mice have gone. I'm not convinced they're gone, Daz. I mean, you know, I'm still looking about. I'm still a bit scared, mate. All right. Jay, 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 it's all right. Trust your copy. They're not around anymore. I haven't seen any. Well, I can't do my walkthrough. I'm sorry, mate. No, I'm not no, getting no, you've got to do your walkthrough. What am I going to do? All right. Jump in. Ah, like you style, Dow. Che oh, <laughs> cheers, mate. Right, first of all, to the PC lounge. Right, in the PC lounge today, guys, we have got Gun Metal. Now, this is Mech Warriors gone mad. I mean, they're turning into jet fighters and everything. I'm very excited about looking at that one later. Moving on to the console kitchen today, we have got WWE Raw 2. Now, this one's on the Xbox, and let's face it, people, there are loads and loads and loads of wrestling games out on the market today. But how does this one fare up to its competition? You've really got to get over this fear, mate. Well, I can't, mate. I'm sorry. Cheers anyway, Dal. And as always in the mobile pad, we've got the lovely Lucy. What have you got for us today, Lucy? Jamie, we've got Mega Man Zero 2 on the GBA. Now, I don't know if you ever played Mega Man Zero on GBA. I did, yeah. But it was notoriously one of the toughest side-scrolling mm -hmm. shoot-em-ups ever. So I'm really looking forward to showing you guys. Me too. Can't wait for that one. You heard it from Lucy herself. That's what's going on in Gainesville today. Now, people, you want to get involved in the show, you want to get involved in anything you see, or you just want to send a message. I'm talking to all you UK digital satellite viewers out there. Very easy to get in touch. Pick up your remote control and press your red button. Now, it will cost you 25p, so do remember to get permission from the bill payer first. Well, mate, I don't know about you, but I'm getting gaming. Dal, oi! Oi, mate! Don't leave me! Dal! Dal! Did you get detention, mate? Um, yeah. Oh, what? So you're definitely you're up for this one, yeah? Yeah. Nice one, Dez. I'm backing you today, mate. Good luck, mate. Serve him right, Chris. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, right, you're playing virtual tennis too on the PSD today. Now, big, uh, big tennis fan? Um, yeah, a bit. Yeah? No, you, you're pretty good? Yeah, I'm good. So, uh, I mean, what, what player are you going to use? I'm going to use Norman, fast runner, and I'm going to get you down, Dez. Get you down. <laughs> <laughs> Now, I'm seriously ready to start round one. But first of all, I've got to find out if my game is ready. Is my game ready? Well, I hope so. Let's ask him. Desmond, you ready, mate? Now, that is the face I like to see just before a face-off, you know? That is what I call a game face. So, uh, I don't think we need to hear anything from Desmond. Desmond's ready. Well, I definitely know that. He's actually returning the serves right now. now just a few hints to you guys. Come on. It's all about varying your shots. Oh, it's Bertie, Bertie Love, James. It's Bertie Love, Patrick Rafter looking to break serve. Can he do it? Desmond. Oh, it's oh, oh, Love 40. Now, it is break point to Rafter. If he wins this one, he's got the first game. Absolutely, James. Can he do it? Now, that is how you do it. That really is how you do it, Desmond. You actually finished off your mate with an ace there. I mean, that was a brilliant serve. How'd you feel, mate? I'm just afraid it went on for too long. I'm afraid I'm oh. definitely humiliated him for. Well, you dispatched him pretty quickly, Des. I mean, more well, of the same in round two, mate. Yeah, hopefully a bit quicker. Yeah. Get on with our lives. <laughs> oh, well, Chris, what can I say? Yeah. Um, a little bit bad on the timing there. You probably need to get your timing sorted out, yeah? Yeah, no big. But next round, Desmond, you're going down. Well, that's <laughs> what we like to see. We <laughs> did hear that in the first round. It didn't happen, so hopefully for round two, it might. <laughs> now, <laughs> we've kicked off this first game in our tennis tournament, but now it's time to go over for our first review. <laughs> Right, Grapple fans, pay attention, because this one's for you. Because we're here in the console kitchen, taking a look at a brand new wrestling title. It's WWE Raw 2 Ruthless Aggression. Now I'm here with GT member Matt and our gamer Theo. Now this game features some of the greatest legends from present to past. Now if that sounds like your cup of tea, then let me share some eye candy with you. WWE Raw 2 tries to bring the most brutal wrestling action to the Xbox. It features all WWE's wrestling superstars, including The Rock, Hulk Hogan, and Triple H, and delivers the look and feel of world wrestling with highly detailed graphics and authentic TV-style presentation. Fight modes include Battle Royal, King of the Ring, and you can even use props like tables, ladders, and chairs. 
With the ability to create your own wrestling superstar and play your own music tracks as your wrestler enters, WWE Raw 2 may be just the thing for hungry grapple fans. Now, Matt, we all know that uh, wrestling is one of the most watched sports in the world. And I've got to say, when I was younger, I was well into wrestling. Now, I mean, does this game capture the feel of what you see, you know, in wrestling on TV? Well, yeah, it does. I mean, obviously, when I used to watch it, it was all Big Daddy and, you know, and Haystacks and stuff. I haven't really uh, been that in touch with it since, you know, yeah, we've yeah. got the WWE stuff. No, you obviously out. remember Hulk Hogan. Of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. Obviously, yeah. The Undertaker. Did... Yeah, yeah, they're yeah. They're all in this game, which is really good. It does actually give a good representation of what it's like to watch on TV. So that is good. It is a great spectacle. Now, how easy is it to pick up? It's pretty easy what you do is you have like a punch button you've got a grapple button and then from from grappling you can vary what you're doing so you can grab them by the legs you can then twist them around you've also got a block button where you can reverse moves that they try on you you can yeah. also climb in and out of the ring get up on the edge of the ring and jump on people there's so much all the moves that you can see on the television are in here now do the characters have their own signature moves yeah all the signature yeah. moves are in there as well so what about the gameplay i mean you know is it one of those games that you know will have you coming back for more it's uh, i think it will do it will it will please wrestling fans definitely it's it is a bit slow though it does feel like a sort of walking That's through a treacle, yeah. yeah, yeah. But, <laughs> but, but the thing is, that because it's a technical game, I think people that like wrestling will, will enjoy doing the moves and being yeah. quite technical about yeah, it yeah. where you know i mean I, i've just come off playing def jam vendetta which is really quick, which is a quick fast game, <laughs> exactly isn't it? Yeah. yeah which is wrestling as well so if you're into your fast-paced beat-em-ups you will not like it if you're into your technical wrestling then you will absolutely love this what about multiplayer Matt? yeah you can have up to four players playing at once in this one you can have them in battle royale you can have tag teams you can have someone supporting coming in you know running in like the manager running in excellent Matt. now theo you're our gamer. Tell me a little bit about what you think about. I mean, the graphics are all good. Like, it's all, everything looks realistic. The crowd. Um, yeah. There's loads of different types of matches. Everything's there, but um, it's just quite slow. All right, excellent. Now, Matt, as we uh, always do with all our reviews, give us a G rating out of five, um, please. I'm going to give this one four Gs. Four Gs. Yeah. yeah very yeah, decent title. Yeah, yeah. For wrestling fans, it's definitely worth getting. Well, well. You've heard it from the expert. WWE Raw 2: Ruthless Aggression on your uh, Xbox gets a games raw rating. Oh. Oh, jeez. I love heavyweight wrestlers, me, Dal. But now it's time to meet someone who's a heavyweight wrestler of the gaming world. The one and only Games Guru. Oh, what is it now, boys? Ah, uh, I see. You can see King Wisdom. Very well. Why didn't you say? Ah, uh, an email from Adam Biggs. Guru, do you have any cheats for Tony Hawk 4 on the PS1? Adam, I have no cheats at all. None. None whatsoever. Uh, fooled you, I am the guru, of course I have cheats. Here comes the wisdom, Adam. Push start, hold L1, then press triangle, right, up, X, right, circle, up, triangle, square, left, up, X. That's all there is to it. Listen to the guru, Adam. You won't go far wrong. Next. Guru, I'm on Warlock costume in X-Men 2. Wolverine's Revenge on the Xbox. Is there a code to get them? Ah. Hello, James. You come seeking costumes. Why? But mine is not to judge. Mine is to enlighten. Listen, James. At the cheat menu, press XL, XL, XX, L. Oh, did you catch that, James? You really should have. For all of the costumes will now be yours. I'll tell you what, Daz. If knowledge was a key, he'd be the locksmith. He would, Jay. Now, if you guys want a piece of wisdom, send your emails to guru at gamesville.tv. That's guru at gamesville.tv. And for UK digital satellite viewers, if you've been unlucky enough to miss any hints, cheats, or tips, 
you can get them back very easily. Press that red button on your remote, get interactive. Now, still to come, we will be battling for court supremacy in our face-off, mate. It's Virtua Tennis 2. And we're talking to Lucy in the mobile pad about another great game for your GBA. It's Mega Man Zero 2. So don't go anywhere, because it's all coming up right here on Gamesville. First round of our face-off as we are playing Virtual Tennis 2 on the PS2. But more about that in a second, because coming up on the show, we've got those two very wise men and one extremely wise woman. Who am I talking about? It's our G team. And in the PC lounge, we'll be off the planet Helios as we do battle in gunmetal. Absolutely right, Jay. But anyone for tennis right now, because it's round two of our face-off! Yeah! And we are playing Virtual Tennis 2 on the PS2, and we have two very game gamers in the studio today. Now, our first gamer is Chris, Chris, you lost the first round to your mate Desmond over there. What are you going to bring in the second round, my friend? Oh, how about I bring more gaming there? So, fingers crossed and hope I win. Yep, fingers crossed for you, definitely, mate. There's, you don't need your fingers crossed, do you, mate? Because you're going to do the business with your tennis racket, right? Yep. Now, basically, more of the same, yeah? Yeah. So, keep it going, mate. This is the one. Remember, this is the one that will make you a champion. So, really, all to play for here. Daz. I'm ready to get this on. Are you ready, mate? I'm always ready, Jay. Gamers, pads in the hand. Guys, are we ready? Yeah. Yes. Well, let's get this on then. It's three, two, one. Let, Let the games begin. begin. Right, so we've got Chris, who is playing as Magnus Norman in the blue shirt. We had a fault there on the first serve. Yeah. So the second serve is coming. And a great oh, return. Oh, a great yeah. return by Patrick Rafter being played by Desmond over there. Got really was a good return Excellent. there, Dal. Come on, Chris. And I mean, oh, another four there. Chris, easy on the directional with the pad, mate. Just take it easy. Oh, That's it. Nice. Oh, Chris. Oh. And Chris, try not to commit yourself too much. Try and stay in the middle of the court, mate. Desmond with a oh, yeah. oh, And there are loads of world-class tennis players you can play with in this game. Yeah. Tim Henman. Oh, just to oh, name a few. Serena Dal. Williams are all there, Jay. Oh, yeah. They're all there. I believe Corner Cup is there. First game to Desmond, and I've got to say, he looks unstoppable. He does look unstoppable. He does look unstoppable. Desmond is really playing well with Patrick Rafter. And now let's check out his serve. Oh, Chris. Oh, Chris. Good. Patrick Rafter, being played by Desmond. Now, Daz, give your boy some advice on the, on the serve returns. His position is a little bit out, mate. Keep it going, mate. You've got this one in the back. Stand back for the serve. You've definitely got this one in the back. Now, Desmond's really slamming these first serves in, and there's a maximum level there. Match point has been played, and we have a winner, and it is your boy, Desmond Jay. And I've got to say, Chris just made it so easy for him. Now, if I'm not mistaken, he won the first round with an ace, and he finished the second round with an ace. What more can you do, mate? What more can you do? Um, beat him in the third round of the ace. And make it a whitewash. Oh, well, yeah. You know what? I couldn't have said it better myself. We're ready for round three, Daz. I just hope you are, my friend. Well, Chris, have you ever played tennis before? Oh, well, no. Well, I could tell by your play, actually, because you're standing in the middle of the court at certain times, which is not a very good position to be when you're just about to receive a ball. So, uh, maybe a bit better tactics in round three, yeah? Hopefully. Yeah. Do you know what? Could be you, mate. <laughs> right. <laughs> now, it's time to go over to some people who never have trouble on a court. Oh, never. In fact, they are the gaming gods of games. Uh -huh. Apart from the guru, of course. It's our G team. <laughs> Matt, Matt, you've got my side of this. Oh, no. Watch it, watch it, watch it. Very get rid of it, very get rid of it. Very 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 don't touch it. Oh, how you doing? Fine, I want it back. <laughs> Thank you. Have you got any gaming news for me? Yeah, I have. Um, I've got some information about... Um, Online crime in massively multiplayer online RPGs. It's quite a mouthful. Online crime? Yeah. In multiplayer RPGs. Yeah, what people are doing is there are gangs that are going around, uh, games like EverQuest, Ultimate Online, Star Wars Galaxy, they're actually going around kicking people out of their virtual homes and ransacking their house for goods. What? What they're thinking of doing is actually setting up possibly a virtual police force to come and uh, police this because people are actually starting to suffer symptoms of the crime because some people are about to pay money. First, they have to pay a subscription 
to play the game. Yeah. And some, in some of the games, you actually have to pay money for the goods, like special magical items, swords and stuff. So they are actually, in effect, having real, you know, real items stolen from them. Well, yeah, well, kind of. I mean, they're, well, yeah. they are virtual. But... They're virtual, but they have paid money for them, so there's some sort of value. And therefore, in Korea, they're even talking about actually properly prosecuting people for these crimes. Really? Can you believe that? Yeah. Jail for committing well, maybe not jail, but certainly fined or whatever, oh, or, you know, or, or made to give it back. No, just, no, well, proper jail. Or you just turn off your computer. Yeah, because as I say, it's a, it's a serious thing because people are suffering proper symptoms of loss as if they have had a real crime. Have you been a victim home. of virtual crime? No, I haven't. Only real crime, unfortunately. It's a tough one, out there. If you've been a victim of virtual crime, send your emails to Gamesville and we'll get in contact with you and uh, we'll try and sort out something for you, yeah, right, Matt? Absolutely. Yeah, because Matt is our Gamesville policeman right here. Okay, cheers, Matt. Hello, hello. Now, remember, it just happens in your nightmares, not in real life. Now, Simon. Yeah, it does. Anything else about virtual crime? Uh, no, no virtual crime over here. Well, actually, this is virtually a crime, what's going on. You know, Grand Turismo 4. Yeah. I know we're all looking forward to it for Christmas, but it's not coming out for Christmas, unfortunately. Yes? Yeah. But what it seems that Polyphonic Digital are going to be cashing in on all you people who love the game. Like me, you mean? Yeah, yeah. like you. And they're releasing a game called Grand Turismo 4 Prologue. Now, is, this sounds like a bit of a knock. It, it's a little <laughs> bit. I mean, some people may see it as great. It gives them a chance to play a game. Some may see it as a bit of a knock. But it's going to feature a small selection of cars, one track in time attack mode, and uh, one license test. At the moment, it's scheduled for release in Japan uh, for Christmas 2003. But judging by the popularity of the game here, we could probably see it here as well. Well, I'm not going to buy a, a game that has one car on one track, not until the real one comes out. Jamie. Well, don't worry, because this will cheer you up. It's freebies time, Daz. This is where we give you, the gamer, games for free. I know it's hard to believe, but it's true. Let's meet Sarah. How are you doing? I'm good, thank you. Now, Sarah brings us the best free downloadables from the World Wide Web. So, uh, what have you got today, darling? Well, I really like this one. It's at a website called eatmygames.com. There's lots of really nice freebies on here. And this is one called Friends. And the object of the game is to create groups of friends. So they're either red friends or they're blue friends. It's a little puzzler, but there's three levels of difficulty. Okay. Um, basically, you can only move your friend to an area where it will surround your opponent's colour, and then it will change them all to your colour. And then um, the game's over when you manage to fill up the whole board, and the one of the most of the same colour wins. This next one is an adventure role-playing game, an online game that was suggested by one of our viewers. It's a game called Galador. You'll find it at Galador.com. Galador Quest, sorry, and you go on all these adventures. Um, it was suggested by John Holroyd, and he and his mates have been playing this for a few weeks now. It's kept them busy. You create your player at the start, so you choose a species, and then you've got to select which arms and which legs you want, and then you just go on your adventures. And For example, you can end up in a wrestling arena and be wrestling. Mm. But the weird thing about this game is that um, characters come up to you and say, right, do you want to glinch with me? Glitch. Yeah, glinch. And that's actually swapping limbs. Oh, yeah. So you might find yourself swapping limbs. You start off with big beefy ones and you end up with really scrawny ones. But vice versa. And if you're then really strong, you can help other people. So you could save someone who's trapped under a tree or something like that. Of course. So that's a really good fun game to play. Do you, uh, do you want to swap an arm with me, sir? I look like a orangutan. <laughs> <laughs> what are you trying to say? Uh, <laughs> so, and who is this one sent in by? It was John Holroyd. It's John Holroyd. One. Nice one, John. Love your style, mate. And remember, people, we want to know about your free downloadables, so send them in. Sarah, again, massive thank you. Thank you. Right, moving from freebies to messages now, people. Now, um, I've got a, uh, a message from David Baker from Morpeth. Uh, Northumberland and he's written in saying I'm doing a school project uh, to do a marketing campaign for a new games console I was wondering what features would you like to see in a next generation games console and what would set it apart from other systems and that's a very good question so I think me and dad are both going to give you some opinions uh, first of all I'd have to say back compatibility I mean you'd have to be able to play old games on a new console otherwise everyone's just wasted all of their money getting all of those games um, also I'd have to say um, Maybe, I don't know, Daz, you were saying something about graphics when I spoke to you about this earlier. What do you think about graphics, mate? Well, um, yeah, definitely we'd have to have high-end graphics, Jay. Um, all, be all the best consoles on the market at the moment are very powerful, and uh, graphics are very important for any console. Got to have, got to have the best graphics. Maybe photorealistic ones, eh? Um, maybe, yeah, maybe photorealistic ones, and uh, maybe even a neural interface as well. That'd be a good idea. Yeah, what, so you could read your mind? <laughs> Smartest AI. I like your style, Dad. Now, I've got another one from Keith Higgins from uh, County, County Dublin, Ireland. And uh, he says, boys, uh, from the whole history of computer gaming, which character do you think best defines computer gaming? Um, it's the guru. Absolutely. You know, he's not on any consoles, but come on, that guy defines computer gaming. And I've got one more here, Dad. Maybe you'd like to take this, mate. It's from... Uh, 
Kimwa's Sabet, hope I got that right. Yep. And he's messaged us asking, um, I would like to know what you do all day when you are not filming your show. When I'm not filming my show, I sleep. <laughs> sleep? You lazy guy. <laughs> Why personally, I'm gaming. I'm gaming, I'm gaming, I'm gaming, because that's what it's all about. Right, people, <laughs> remember, you want to get in contact, it's very, very easy. You want to be a part of the show, maybe you want to get involved in a face-off review. You know there's loads of stuff happening here at Games Hall. UK Digital Satellite viewers, pick up your remote control and press that red button. The messages will cost you 25p, so do remember to get permission from the bill payer first. Well, if that's, uh, what do you feel like doing now, mate? Well, have you finished with the uh, formalities? Yeah, I have, done. I think that's about it, mate. Well, Jay, you know what we want to do? It's time to get gaming. Right, I'm in the PC lounge where we're looking at gun metal. Now, basically, this is some serious mech action in some truly huge worlds. To sum it up, it's like Transformers gone mad. Now, I've got my GT member, Simon, here, who's going to give us a G rating in just a second. And I've got my gamer, Shahan, who's going to be giving us his opinion on this game in just a minute. But you know what? For everyone else who wants to see some more mech action, you need to check this out. As we know well here on Gainesville, mech games are massive. Now the latest third-person mech action has landed with a bang on the PC with the arrival of gun metal. You are placed sometime in the distant future, and your civilization is under threat. Don your 10-meter high Havoc suit and take to the battlefield. You have at your disposal a large arsenal of weapons and the ability to transform from giant robot form into a jet fighter at the touch of a button. Use your ability well because you are the last line of defense. This game has a number of features, including massive detailed worlds where the battles take place, and there's something called a persistent battle system. This lets you leave your mark on the battlefield by recording all destruction inflicted upon the environment. All in all, this looks to have the potential to be a good game, but will it have what it takes to stand out from all the other mech games out there? Right, now, to be honest, I'm quite excited about this one, Si. I don't really know where to start, mate, I'll be honest with you. So, uh, first of all, what's the graphics like? The, the graphics are beautiful on this game, really nice, really detailed. Um, it, this game was on the Xbox before, and I, I think it's come, it's come along a bit. It looks even nice on the PC. What about the gameplay, though, Si? There's a lot of gameplay here. The, the gameplay is fast, it's frenetic, there's a lot of action, there's lots going on. Uh, when, when you go in for the attack, you, you've been attacked from all angles, and... Um, it's really good fun. It's hard to put down. I can see our gamer over here. He's actually playing with a joystick. That's so, right. I mean, what, I was going to say, what are the controls like? Is that easy to use? or is that, Yeah, is that if you've got a joystick, it's going to make the game a whole lot easier to play. Because really? um, the joystick just lends itself really well to, to the functions of, of your machine. Because you can change into a jet plane and a mech warrior, mm. obviously, having a joystick really yeah. helps. It's going to be a lot easier than a mouse, isn't it? Yeah, All that it, it, about. it's going to make it a lot. I mean, maybe in mech mode, when you're in third person mode, the mouse, mouse can work out. But, right. but um, it's worth looking at investing in a joystick if you're going to go for this game, for sure. What's the AI like, Sai? The AI is vicious on this game, yeah? really. They, they do, they're relentless. They all go after you. you like they that? all target. If you've got this um, an auto-aim feature, but it seems like the enemies have got auto-aim as well. Right, you know? right. they, their missiles all come straight for you. Now, let's talk to our gamer. His name is Shahan. How you doing, mate? Yeah, I'm all right. Now, welcome to Gamesville, and I mean, obviously you're playing this now on the joystick, so I mean, what's your first what first impressions of this game, mate? It's good. Yeah? Wicked. Wicked? Yeah. What do you like about it? The graphics is heavy, um, but the controls are a bit hard. Is it fun to play, yeah? Yeah, it's fun, yeah. It gets a thumbs up from Shahan. Let's go back to Simon. Now, Si, you are the G-Team specialist, mate, so I mean, you're qualified to give me a G rating, mate, and I need a, five, I need a, a rating out of five Gs for this, mate. Um, it's tough one, actually. The, the graphics are beautiful, the, the gameplay is quite good fun, but some of the levels can get a bit repetitive after a while. You're doing pretty much the same thing throughout. There's, there's no real cut sequences or anything like that. Right. So I'm going to give it, um, I'm gonna give it three Gs. Three Gs? Yeah. But it sounds like a good three, though, so Yeah, it's a pretty good three Gs. Right, it's official. Gunmetal on the PC gets an official, a good official, three Gs. Well, Jay, I've got to say, mate, from a virtual mechanical world to a virtual tennis championship, because it's the final round of our challenge. Right, so it's round three, it's face-off time, and it's time for Desmond to get or not to get a whitewash. He is two rounds up. He's going for it to make it 3-0, basically. Let's meet Desmond, let's see how he's feeling. Desmond, now, like I said, mate, you're 2-0 up. Um, you know, one of my sayings, which I use a lot here in the face-off zone, is if it ain't broken, don't fix it. So we're going to see more of the same from you, mate? Well, I just hope we leave with our friendship intact once I beat him again. 
Yeah, well, I'm sure you will. I mean, you know, it's gaming here, isn't it? But, I mean, you're going to show that, uh, basically, you're the better gamer. Yeah. So, I mean, that's cool. You ready to do that? Yeah. Nice one, mate. Nice one. Ah, uh, right. Now, Chris, um, lost the first two rounds. Tactics are probably the most important thing for you in this round because you need to stay a little bit more back. What you tend to be doing is coming forward too much and you're being caught out on the serve. So, we're going to see that from you in this round? Yeah. And hopefully, we keep our friendship double-crossed. Yeah, could be you, Chris. Right, so, uh, I think we should just get it on, Jay. I think we should get it on. I think we should get it on. Desmond has waited too long. Right, pick up your pads, gentlemen, because I'm about to start this off. It's three, it's two, it's one. Let, Let the, the games, games begin! begin! Right. We've got Chris. Easy on the D-pad, Chris. Easy, Chris. Oh, great serve, Chris. Oh, oh, he's diving everywhere. Now, if Desmond wins this one, it will be 3-0. He will be a face, well, he is a face-off champion already, but he will be a 3-0 champion. Plan your next move. That's it, mate. Plan your next move. Now, Go on, Chris. This is all about pride. It is all about pride. Dads. Yep. One thing about this game, mate, you really have to make people run like real life. Oh, you do? Great running at the moment, I must yeah. say, Jay. Oh, lucky, Chris. I'm lucky. Now we've got Chris playing as Magnus Norman in the blue top. And we've got Desmond playing as Patrick Rafter in the yellow top. Yeah. Both very good players in real life, these two. And that was a great shot down the line. Much point here for Rafter. It could be. Is it match point? Uh, or game point? It's game point, yeah. Oh, oh and it is game point, and he has won. He's won the first game. Raptor. Hey. 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 Stand back on the serve so you give yourself a bit better chance to uh, yeah. receive it. And yeah. Desmond, no mercy, don't mate. Come Stand that ball in there. Don't come, come forward. Oh, a maximum That's speed, sir. Great return. Go on, Chris. Oh. Oh. Come on, Chris. Come on, Chris. Come on, Chris. Come on, Chris. Face-off champion. He did get a 3-0 victory, and his name is Desmond. Let's meet him. How you doing, mate? Good. Now, I mean, Des, you're looking very cool and calm and collected there, mate. I mean, can I get a victory cheer? This <laughs> is too calm and collected. What can I say? Well, I did very well. 3-0. Well, unlucky, Chris. You did play a decent game. Fell a little bit on the tactics, you know. Kept running about a little bit too much, but well done. Unlucky you didn't win, and yeah, you got whitewashed by your mate over there. But give him, shake his hand, shake yeah. his hand. Yeah. Well done, guys. Yeah. Give him a cheer. Well, well done. done. A bit of sportsmanship yeah. well, done. well done. Now, Desmond, one quick point. We have got a GT member right now writing out your winner certificate, my friend. But we want to put an elite stamp on that. You want to join that elite few? You've got to beat me in our face-off, mate. So how are you feeling about that? I feel I can take you on. Yeah? Are you confident of beating me? Hopefully you're better than him, I will. Yeah, well, you know, I think I'm a little bit better than you, mate, but uh, we'll see what happens. I mean, we will be seeing what happens, Jay. But now it's time to get some words of advice and some serious gaming knowledge as we talk to the Games Guru. Ah, once again, you visit the Guru. I give you my knowledge, yet I get nothing in return uh, the life of a guru who needs me mm, Aaron writes guru could you please give me codes for Jackie Chan adventures on the G B A Aaron Jackie Chan is known as the master of martial arts but then he's never taken on the guru has he? I can give you those levels, my friend. In fact, here they come. At the main screen, hold down R. Now tap B A. Left down, up right. All the levels are yours. What do you say, Aaron? Thank you, Guru. Next. Guru, I have a bad reputation in Pirates of the Caribbean on the Xbox. Is there, is there a way to make people like me again? Ah, uh, Shalid, or should I say, Billy No Mates. Oh dear, my friend, it looks like once again the Guru must come to the rescue. Listen to what I have to say, for here comes the good bit. Press A, X, Y, X, Y, B, B, Y, B, A. 
This simple code will reset your reputation to neutral. The friends will come flocking. But beware, you may only enter this code on land. Thank you, Guru. Now, Jay, do you know that um, there's a little rumour going around that the Guru was raised by a family of apes? No. Seriously. Explains his soft spot for Super Monkey Ball, Dave. <laughs> oh, dear. Now, if you need some knowledge, send your emails to guru at gamesville.tv. I hate to sound like an echo, but that's guru at gamesville.tv. But coming up on this show, we have got a fantasy battle in our Clash of the Titles as we find out who really is the top demon slayer. Is it a toggy myth of demons or is it Chaos Legion? And Lucy is battling with Neo Arcadia in the mobile pad as she takes a look at Mega Man Zero 2. So don't go anywhere, guys. It'd be crazy to miss it, because it's all happening right here on Gamesville. We'll be playing a game that I haven't touched for at least 10 years. It's that side-scrolling shooter, Rolling Thunder. Yep, Jay, we'll be looking at that later on. But right now, we're going to go head-to-head because -head, it's our Clash of the Titles. What is a Clash of the Titles? It's where two games of the same style go head-to-head -head, and there can only be one winner. And I'm playing Otogi, Myth of Demons. And today, I am playing... Chaos Legion. Now, Daz, unlike a Toggy, Chaos Legion is much more than a simple button basher, my friend. There are excellent RPG elements too. A Toggy is just 100% action. There's no puzzles to solve, nothing to explore. Chaos Legion features a little bit of everything, my friend. I'm talking jungles, combos, interesting creature design, and serious, serious stylishness. You collect legions, which is enjoyable because each one is talented in a type of attack. And Daz, they're your boys. They help you and they fight with you. Be that, my man. Anyway, minimal thought, minimal story, but packed with action, Jamie, because this game is bursting with samurai-style sword action, with hours upon hours of beautifully crafted action and enough unlockable weapons to keep even the most hardcore gamer happy. Let me start about the character. The character is Reiku, and his life comes from magic, which is constantly depleting throughout the game. Taking out enemies and grabbing power-ups is the only way to get it back again. So all this just adds to the extra drama, to an already great game. What can I say? 33 weapons to choose from, 12 spells at your Disposal, fully destructible environments, 29 levels to explore, and over two dozen unique enemies to take out. This game is just absolutely brilliant, Jay. So what, mate? Are you going to say something interesting? I just did. Never mind. This game is epic, Daz. We're talking about controlling lesions, not just one guy. When my guys get stronger, I get stronger. The game's got a great feel to it, excellent graphics, and a cool character as the lead. Daz, you do not stand a chance, my friend. But it's boring. Jesus, give us a verdict, please. Well, guys, you know, much like the GT compared to you lot, the Toggy is a thing of beauty, far more beautiful than uh, Chaos Legion. So, um, Toggy wins it. Yeah. <laughs> Unlucky, mate. Today, I've got to say that I win Clash of the Titles. You're right. Okay? You're right. I, I won. Oh, did you? <laughs> <laughs> mm. Now, I don't care if you're a console gamer, a PC gamer, or just a handheld gamer. Everybody loves handheld games. That's why we've got Lucy, our GT member, and she's going to be talking to us about a brand new game for your GBA. Right, Luce? I certainly am. And this is really, really a tough one. It's called Mega Man Zero 2. It's a sequel to Mega Man Zero on the GBA. There's a prologue at the beginning of this game that you have to get through in order to kind of unlock the main game and play the main game. And the prologue you have to play it several times in order to get through in it's itself. It's very hard. It's really hard. Well, yeah, it is, actually. Yeah. Now, basically, the story is set a year after where the first game left off. And you're Zero, and you're kind of 
stuck between reploids, who are the robots, and they're being persecuted by this organization called Neo Arcadia. Now, Neo Arcadia is evil because they are being run by um, a self-appointed commander right. who is evil. And, yeah. and so basically, they're pers they persecute the reploids, and you're stuck in the middle trying to save the world. So it's a pretty good storyline, isn't it? It's a good storyline. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is a good storyline. Listen, do you know what? There's nothing new, really, about this game. It's not, that's just the bad thing. It's not something we haven't seen before. No, what is it, side-scrolling? It's or... side-scrolling, kind of shoot em, beat em up type, yeah? <laughs> Your type of game. My type of game, absolutely. <laughs> the cool thing is this weapon that you, you can use, which is this chain that just whips out, and you go, like, and you can hook things um, and, to, and swing to, to, you know, to avoid the bad guys. Um, and you can also grab things with it, so it's really cool. Give us a, a G rating, Luz, for this one. This game definitely gets a high three Gs. Mmm, high three Gs. Well, Mega Man Zero Two on your GBA gives a game's rating of three Gs. Now, we all know Mega Man is a retro character, notoriously hard on the NES, on the NES even, I remember that. Yep. But now, it's time to look at some more retro characters, my man. Not on the GBA, though, on the retro table. Well, Jay, the retro table is primed and ready to game. And today, we're looking at a game whose graphics just simply blew away the competition in 1986. Absolutely, Dow. The game, Rolling Thunder, was and still is a thing of beauty. The graphics on this game would really get me excited. In fact, Daz, they were the hook that pulled you in. From the tall, skinny agent, codenamed Albatross, to the creepy hooded Geldra enemies, everything was animated in smooth, flowing details. The graphics were way ahead of the times, and what interesting times they were. That's right, mate, because 1986 was the year Sam Fox tried to launch her music and TV career, leaving Page Free behind for good. Fuji wild the world with the introduction of the first ever disposable camera, and it was also the year Eddie Murphy starred in The Golden Child and had us rolling about with laughter. Oh, I remember that, Dow. That's not the only rolling that was going on that year, though, my man, as Rolling Thunder had them lining up in the arcades. This game must have heavily influenced the designers at Sega because it looks and feels a lot like Shinobi that came a year later. You fire projectiles in a similar manner. Also, both games offered the ability to leap up onto a second level by pushing up and press and jump. Yep, yeah, remember it well, Jay. But that is where the similarities ended, as this game was much harder. Enemies would come at you in a relentless flow, appearing from the edges of the screen and even out of doors. But you too had the option of entering certain doors to avoid the odd grenade or to collect some ammo or a power-up. Namco pretty much defined the genre of the side-scrolling shooter with this game, and a good job too. Well, Jay, that was one small step for gaming, but now let's go to a giant leap for mankind as we ask the guru. Ask the Guru. It is time once again to ask the Guru. Chris Wade writes, Guru, will any original Sonic games be coming out for the GBA? Chris, I think you are mistaken. The Sonic games that have appeared on the GBA have been somewhat original. Sonic Advance 1, although similar to the Mega Drive games, contained elements of the Dreamcast game Sonic Adventure, such as the grinding shoes. Sonic Advance 2 contained all new levels. However, if you are looking for something completely original, wait for Sonic Battle. This is a quirky little fighter featuring Sonic, Tails, and Co. A Sega Super Smash Brothers, if you like. Next, mm, Uncle Matt Zero Zero writes, Guru, if you are all knowing and powerful, answer me this. What goes in the expansion bay in the back of the PS2? Uncle Matt, that's simple. The expansion bay can currently be used for the network adapter, allowing online play of games such as SOCOM, Navy SEALs. However, there will soon be a hard drive available for the PS2. It will slot into the back and you will be able to store things such as MP3s, game saves, and it may even come with a pre-installed copy of Final Fantasy XI. Many consoles have been future-proofed 
It means you can add on things to make the existing technology more modern. Don't ever doubt my knowledge. <laughs> Right, guys, come here. This is the one. This is what we've all been waiting for because it's time for our Face of Champion of Champions finale! Yeah. Now, what is a Face of Champion of Champions final? Where it's where today's winner, Desmond, he is our Face of Champion, takes on Jamie for that Gamesville Elite title. And I've got to tell you guys, it's not going to be easy. Now, Desmond, you recognise this, yes? Yeah. This is your winner's certificate. But we don't want to give it too plain. We want to stamp Gainesville Elite on it. Now, guys, I think we should just pick up our pads and let's get it on. So, after the count of three, three, two, one, let the games begin. Now, we've got Jamie, who's playing on the top screen as Tim Redman. And we've got Desmond, who is playing as Patrick Rafter. Oh! Point to Patrick Arthur being played by Desmond there. Right, so Jamie to serve, Jamie, you need to hold on to your serve, mate. Oh, great serve there by Jamie. And just to remind you, Desmond is playing that Gainesville Elite title. Come on, James. Come on, Jamie. Come on, Jamie. Oh! At the moment, it is 40 15, and uh, Desmond's on break point. Come on, Jamie. Come on, Jamie. Right, so... Right, we are playing Virtual Tennis 2 on the PS2. We've got Jamie playing as Tim Hitman. This is a juice game. Come on, Jamie. And this is Virtual Tennis 2 on the PS2. Advantage to Jamie being played, playing, playing as Tim Hedman. Yeah! 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 I love my co piece play over here. This is for match point. This is for match point, guys. No stamps today. Desmond, what can I say, mate? You are today's Games World Champion. But there is no elite stamps for you. But well done, my man. Well played. Give this guy a hand. Yeah. Excellent stuff. Excellent stuff. This belongs to you. Games World Champion right there. Well, guys, if you want to be like Desmond or Chris over here, you want to come on Games World, show us your stuff, think you're good enough, it's very easy. Press that red button on your remote and get interactive. Mm -hmm. It will cost you 25p, so please ask the bill payer for permission first. And that's to all you UK digital satellite viewers out there. Come on, bring it on. Me and Daz are waiting for you. But unfortunately, Dad, that's all we got time for, mate. I know, Jay. I you know, know where know. to come back to for more gaming action. It's, it's right here. Game's